Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to be getting into a movement called the wrap. So this is a prerequisite video to another one that we're going to release soon. So you're going to want to learn this movement first and then that way you can incorporate it into the next video that we're going to be releasing here soon. So good luck and happy dancing. We're going to begin with the flyers today since there's a lot of work that we have to do within this lift. So you are going to start with your left arm on the base's shoulders and left leg in his arm. With that left leg we are going to create a lot of power pushing down into his arm to send our body up and over. Try and not jump into position here, it's very important to keep your legs nice and straight. Um, as you're pushing down into that left leg, you're going to see in the next clip that I am throwing my right leg up and together with the left leg. So a freeze frame right here, right leg is on its way up, I'm twisting my upper body to face the camera from here, but it's important to throw that right leg to collect with the left leg. So you have made it onto the shoulder. Now from here, to maintain this position, you're lifting your chest up high, squeezing your shoulder blades and pulling your arms back to maintain that position. Also, you're engaging your legs, which we'll flip it around so you can see that. Um, it's very important to keep your body upright here, that way it doesn't weigh down on your base's shoulders. All right, so that was the first position. Here is the second position. Um, keeping your legs together, keeping your back engaged, you're going to arch over, creating a C shape in your back. From there, you are going to lift your chest up, bring your knees together, and let your hips drop. Here's everything from a different angle. I lift my left leg and arm. I swing my right leg up high. That way I can make it up onto his shoulder. Engage my back and my legs. I'm lifting my legs up high here as well. Then we're gonna go into the next transition. I'm gonna roll onto my right side, arching my back, bringing my knees together. Then from here, as he brings me around to the front, I'm bringing my knees into my chest and lifting my chest high. Hand placement for the base, we're going to have the right hand on the flyer's rib cage, the left hand underneath the thigh, we're going to keep our chest up high and our spine straight. Once we get the flyer to this first position, we're going to assist with our left hand by keeping it on the small of the back and that way we can help to stabilize. When you're first learning this, if your flyer needs a little bit of assistance, you can place your right hand on the back of the arm and just help to get her into that second position. In a moment, we're gonna talk about the switch of the arms, but the most important part of this position is to drop your chin to your chest so that your flyer actually has a platform to lay on. Here we use the right arm to guide the lady to the front of the body, but the left arm is actually going to swoop forward and underneath the legs to help bring her in front of you into what we call a cradle position. So to recap from a different angle, we have the right hand on the flyer's rib cage, we have the left arm underneath the thigh of the flyer's leg, and we're just going to get her straight to the shoulder. Same as before, now that we're in position two, we're just going to assist by placing the left arm on the small of the flyer's back. Again, if your flyer requires it, you can take that right hand and use it to assist by giving them a little bit of rotation to get into that position two. Once you get into position two, drop your chin to your chest, at one point you won't even need your arms then swing your right arm up and over top of the thighs, let the left hand come underneath and bring the lady to the front into a cradle position. All right guys, we hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to take your time, learn it step by step, and be patient with not only yourself, but with your partner. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment if you have any questions or if you have suggestions on what you'd like to see.